There goes nothing. Just prime it a few times. Get some of that fuel up to the front. Let's see. Ho -ho -ho -ho. She mechanic here again. All right, so we have a little adventure set up for us today. Um, I have to replace the heads on my 03 Silverado. Um, it's kind of had a problem with it since I had it where the number seven spark plug with would, wouldn't stay in the head. So it happened when I first got it. Um, it was making a ticking noise for a while and I, I could see the spark plug moving back and forth. Um, and then eventually it blew out when I was driving one day. Luckily I was close to an O'Reilly's. I pulled over, went in, bored a socket, put it in there. It was good. And that was maybe two, three months ago. Um, two months ago. I've only had the truck a couple months, uh, but I daily this thing. I love this truck. I drive this thing more than anything else. And uh, the other day I was towing one of Carlos Miller's cars to his house from the interior shop and um, all of a sudden it happened again. And I know what it sounds like. It sounds like, almost sounds like the exhaust, uh, like a, a really bad exhaust leak, but it's the spark plug blew out. So a buddy of mine pulled up on me. He um, brought some tools and uh, we tried to get it in there, but <laughs> it won't stay in. I mean, we tried everything. Teflon tape, Loctite, everything. But it would not stay in the head. So, um, my buddy Torian, he had a 5.3 sitting at his house. Um, I was like, hey, let me get the heads off of it because I need them. And then I'll just, you know, good. Dropping them off at DNA Machining up in Canton. Uh, Andy called me today, said they were ready. I mean, it was two days ago. So, you know, I'm happy he, you know, got them done for me pretty quickly, but I was totally unprepared because I wasn't planning on taking this apart till this weekend. But um, heads will be here tomorrow. I got to go pick them up in Canton tomorrow, so I might as well go ahead and uh, start taking this apart and um, getting it ready. So I figured I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Um, so let's get to it. It's uh, I got to go to Summit today. I'll probably go tonight, so I may... Uh, I may go ahead and grab a cam while I'm there. We'll get this thing set up and uh, we'll get these uh, these heads off. Well, got the intake and all the front accessories off. Uh, wasn't too bad. I mean, I've done it before on my red truck. Um, I had to change the intake, chasing down a uh, a misfire issue. And couldn't figure out what it was turned out to be the injectors but i had to tear the intake off of it twice so whatever but she's all uh apart so far um i'm gonna go ahead and take the coil packs off uh get the exhaust off that should be interesting hopefully none of the bolts break we do if they do doesn't matter i got new heads coming anyway um but just look at all that nasty crap it's always disgusting in these ls motors um, this truck has got 190,000 miles on it, so it isn't uh, super high miles, but, you know, high. Not high miles for one of these engines on one of these trucks. So, we'll go ahead and uh, keep at it. Get the uh, coil packs, valve covers, pull the rocker arm studs off. Um, get the rock arms out. Push rods. Um, after we get the push rods out, shit, pretty much time to, uh, to pull them up, pull the heads. Um, oh, exhaust. So that's going to be interesting. Um, shouldn't be too bad, though.
All right, so it's the next day. Um, the GoPro camera, uh, the battery kept dying, so I didn't get the last bit of uh, getting the heads and the cam out of the Blue Silverado, but I got them out. Uh, I mean, pretty straightforward. I've built a few LS motors, so it wasn't nothing crazy. Yeah, so I got it all apart. Um, it was probably nine o'clock when I got done. Uh, got the old cam out. Everything in there looked really good. It was nice and clean. Um, so I'm headed now to the machine shop, DNA Machine in Canton, Georgia. Uh, Andy Key up there, he's got my heads ready. So I'm gonna pick up the heads. Machine shop picking up our heads. Yeah, it's like super dirt road back here, but dude does some amazing work. Um, crap, I don't think he's here. I don't see his truck. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, he's here. here at Andy's. All right, so we're here picking up the heads. These are my heads. They even stamp the name in them. Just some 862s. We put new springs in them. Uh, this is his machine shop. I mean, they've got, they do everything. Everything. All kinds of stuff. Full machine shop back here. This is the best though. Violators will be blasted with pink glitter. And they have the pink glitter. If you don't mind Andy, tell me what we did to my heads and and uh, you know the work that we did to them and stuff. What yeah, was it them? was for the most part a basic rebuild. Uh, Multi-angle valve job, had to check and replace 12 valve guides. All the rest of the others were in fine shape. Uh, did a full resurface on them, full cleaning. Uh, I can give you an example of what they, about what they look like before they, before we started. Awesome. Uh, let me bring a head over right quick. And as you can see, we are covered up with the LS. Uh, LS cylinder heads. And actually Andy's done two engines for me already. The engine that's in my personal 95 and the engine that's in the black 96 that I'm building. Jeez. So that's, Rays were a little bit cleaner than this coming in, but this is a good example of what they start out like. Yeah, and then this is what you get. This is what you get when you're done. So DNA Machining, Canton, Georgia. Um, I'll put the address and everything, phone number, everything. Andy Key, really good guy. Um, so yeah, he's my go-to guy. I've sent it a couple other people to him. As a matter of fact, you owe me lunch. I do owe you, you lunch. Yeah, one of, my, about that. one of my buddies was like, he said he owes you lunch. Cause I sent, I sent everybody. I'm like, look, go to Andy, man. He's the man. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay him. And then we're going to Summit to get a camp. All right, just left Andy's. Um, picked up the heads. Um, it's probably 20 minutes that went by. Anytime we come up here, we get to talking about cars and, and different stuff like that. And next thing you know, half hour goes by. And he's like, oh, I got work to do. I'm like, oh man, me too. So really cool guy. Like I said, he's done. He built both motors for me. Well, he did all the machine work um, on the engines for me. On my engine in the 95, the 60, and the 60 in the black one that I did for Carlos. Um, he did all the machine work, all the head work, and I assembled it. Um, and then, you know, again, he just did these heads for me. So, DNA machining, <clears throat> um, 768 Scott Road in Canton, Georgia. Um, I'll put his address and everything at the bottom and his Instagram and, and all his stuff um, in the description so you got it. Oh. Make sure you come here in a truck. Don't come here in your Honda Accord uh, because man, 
that uh, that driveway is brutal. I think I came here once in my Mercedes and I was like, oh, this wasn't a good idea. Um, but yeah. So yeah, holler at Andy. Uh, let him know I sent you. Um, he's already, He owes me lunch, like I said, because I sent, I've sent him a few people and, uh, you know, just, you know, good business, recognized good business. And he's, you know, he's, he's really, he's really in depth on, you know, he'll let you know everything he's doing, why he's doing it. Um, he'll explain the whole process to you. Like, Hey, this is what I'm doing. This is why, you know, he gives you suggestions. I mean, just now we sat there for 20 minutes specking out a cam. Um, you know, we talked about it over the phone and stuff like that, but I was like, look, I'm going to summit now. Um, do you mind hopping on the summit website? So I have the part number. I know exactly, you know, what to get. Um, and he said, yeah, no problem. So we looked at a couple cams and you know, the, the Silverado is going to be a tow vehicle, a daily. Um, eventually I do want to, you know, I, I kind of want to make it a street truck, but, um, you know, turbo it and all that stuff. But you know, right now it's my daily and you know, uh, it's, it's the workhorse. I mean, I throw stuff in the bed. I go pick up tires and wheels and, you know, I hook it up to the trailer and haul cars all over the place. So, you know, really right now it needs to be more function than fun, I guess. But he said the cam that we spec'd out is a Summit. Um, I didn't want to go super expensive on it. So we did a Summit um, low lift truck cam, stage one. You know, uh, he said to keep the duration low because a lot of times a lot of people don't realize when you get these bigger cams, you lose a lot of the your low end torque, but you trade it for horsepower. Um, and because I'm gonna be towing with the truck, um, I definitely wanna have torque um, to pull um, because towing with this thing, this Yukon, is absolutely horrendous. I hate towing with this truck. I don't know, I think after I got the transmission built, whatever they did, it just never pulled the same. I mean, I gotta, I gotta basically floor it to get up to speed, you know, to get out the hole. It's, it's horrible. So I have to definitely take it back to the transmission place and get them to look over it and, and something because I wasn't really worried about it because I don't drive it that much. But now that I'm driving it, um, now I have to drive it because the blue truck is down. Oh man, it's brutal. It's brutal. I mean, you can hear it. I mean, you gotta, I gotta rev it up to like 4,000 just to, to get up to up the road. It's And it's 10 times worse with a trailer. So uh, definitely something I had to take care of. So we're gonna go home. Um, I'm gonna park the Yukon. I'm gonna hop in the green Impala, Carlos's green Impala. I'm gonna take that. I'm trying to decide if I wanna take that to him first and pick up the, the 96 or if I'm gonna drive that to Summit and then switch cars with him on the way back up. Um, I don't know. I think I might take the green car down to Summit just cause people like seeing it and getting it out and I'll get some good footage of the car at Summit Racing. Good photo op. So um, I'll check back with you when I hop in the Impala. So we just got everything from Summit. Got my cam, hoses, whatever. But look who we ran into, Dr. Smoot. Dr. Smoot, don't call me doctor yet. Not Almost yet. there. Almost yeah, there. Yeah. We out here grabbing parts. You know, you never know what you might see, what you might run into out here. Um, you know, so we just out here. You know, about to get the Silverado right out here. Yeah, yeah, Silverado you know, gang over there. Silverado gang. Baby muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, so, uh, we out here. So tell me about this car. Shit, it's green as fuck. How much work is in it? It looks like a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of front end work, a lot of suspension work, a lot of interior work, a lot of paint work. A lot of, a lot of everything. But yeah, we out here. Just trying to get the vault, the trying to get the drone footage, but I got to figure out how to connect it and all that. And I don't remember how to do all that. So yeah, AC blowing, ice cold in there. Ice cold. That's why I just had. That's why I had it to fix. I had to fix the AC. So 
always fun when you got to come down to Summit Racing. Look at that ride back though. Look at the track. You saw, I already. saw it, man. Look at that. It was bad going back. Way. That's what I'm about to do. So it's been about two days. Um, I got the heads and everything taken off the Silverado, cam out, engines completely broken down, dropped the heads off the machine shop, picked them up. Uh, as you see earlier in the video, I picked up the heads from the machine shop, went to Summit, got my cam, got new lifters, got new lifter trays. Uh, I went to AutoZone in advance today, picked up all my gaskets. So I'm going to need to put this thing back together. I did forget the exhaust gasket, so I have to run back out and grab those. But this is what we got so far. So we got our fresh uh 862 casting number heads uh just stock five three heads um the heads that were on my engine are actually 706s <coughs> there were 706s uh but one of my boys had uh these laying around so called my machine shop said hey i gotta say 862s what's the difference he said eh, not much big difference they'll work so we put some uh different valve springs on them I actually bought these springs and a Torker V2 cam on Marketplace for like 200 bucks. So uh, these are basically Beehive Springs, the 06 Springs. Um, good for 550 lift, I believe. Um, this is the cam that I picked up from Summit. Just a Summit cam, 8712. Um, so like a stage one low lift cam. Uh, I didn't want to go with anything too big because I do tow a lot with the truck and um, Andy at DNA said, you know, if you go with anything too big, you're going to lose a lot of low end torque, which of course I need for towing. Uh, so we got our cam, we got uh, trick flow lifters. Um, you know, these things are never run the trick flow ones, but from what I understand, they're you know, basically the same thing. And I didn't think I had to change my lifters, but I figured while I was in there, had the heads off, might as well put a set of uh, new lifters, got new trays. Uh, I got head gaskets here, uh, intake gaskets, throttle body gasket. Um, go ahead and change the injector O-rings while we got it all apart. Um, and so today we're going to go ahead and reassemble everything in my cart. So I'm just putting in the stock rockers. Um, and I actually do have another set of uh, cylinder head bolts. Um, I wanted to get headers while I was doing this, but speed engineering is out of stock. So... Um, can't get any headers right now, but you know, we'll put the manifold back on and, and we'll, we'll, we'll drive it, see how it goes. All right. So we've been working on this thing for about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Uh, we've got the cam in, of course, all the lines are, all the um, cams in, new lifters and trays are in. So we got the head gaskets on now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these machine shop fresh heads on this engine. Once we get the heads on, we'll torque them down. And uh, once we get the heads torqued down, it's home free after that. But I do have to, again, go get some stuff from the parts store. So I'm not gonna time lapse this. I mean, there's 10,000 videos on YouTube on how to install LS cylinder heads, what the torque sequence is and, and all that stuff. Actually, what I use, cart here is this book. It's the book I used to build uh, my the engine for that car and my 95 Impala. And I mean, that other car runs great. So it's a pretty good book. I mean, I picked it up on Amazon, maybe 20 bucks, maybe less than that. I don't remember. It was a while ago. Uh, I read it cover to cover first, and then I... Um, then I started, um, you know, using it. Now you can kind of go to what page you need for the torque specs of what. Um, so three sets of bolts. I got the new bolt, head bolts and all that stuff. So we'll get the bolt, the heads in and torque down and we'll go from there. I'm not gonna time lapse it, like I said, um, cause a million videos on YouTube on how to do that. I think what we'll do is we'll work a little magic and see if we can get these knocked out in like half a second. Let's see. Oh, that didn't work. It's the gloves. Take the gloves off. All right. Heads are on and torqued. Rocker arms are on and torqued. So, now all we got left, uh, we got to run to the parts store, grab um, timing cover gasket, water pump gasket, 
Um, I gotta remember to block the two steam vent hole, holes in the back of the heads. Cause I've done that before where I forgot to do those and it's wouldn't, it keeps overheating, it's cooling spilling out. So gotta remember to put those in. I'll grab them off the old heads, get those on. Um, shit, and start putting the intake on, putting everything together. So I'm gonna run to the parts store, grab some gaskets and uh, we'll get this thing buttoned up and back on the road. So shouldn't be too bad. Boy, is it humid out here, dripping in sweat. So, and we got new intake uh, gaskets here. New throttle body gasket, whatever gasket that is. Got the Molly. No, these are Felpro gaskets. So we'll toss these on there and clean up the intake, clean up the valve covers while we got it. And uh, should be uh, should be fun. I'm looking forward to driving it with the new cam and everything like that. And um, eventually I'm going to flash a tune on it. Um, I have HP tuners. I haven't really been messing around with it yet. Um, I mean, I, I basically got it in the mail. I bought two credits with it when I bought it. I hooked it up to the blue truck just to just to see what happens. And so I was able to pull it up and log and, and, and kind of play with the functions a little bit, but I haven't flashed anything to it. Uh, I don't feel comfortable yet. So I want to do a little bit more research on it and um, see a little bit better how you do it. And then I'll start messing with the tune and stuff. And um, maybe get in touch with somebody tunes, tell them what I have and see if they can email me a tune file so I can get comfortable with actually flashing the tool and going through tune and, and going and, and getting comfortable with with just flashing the tune on the PCM and, and, and stuff like that and start data log. I mean, especially I'm gonna need it for this guy here. Um, Cause this is, uh, this one's really gonna need, uh, you know, tuning. It's my, I haven't showed you guys this one yet, but this is my 95 SS with LQ4 that I built. It's got a built 4L60 built. Um, 3000 FTI stall. I had the gears put in before I started this whole swap. So it's got 373s. I had the 373s with the stock LT1 and all that stuff. Um, it's got a stage two cam, nothing too big. Um, I do want to go bigger. I'm probably gonna end up putting that Torker V2 in here. Um, but I just didn't feel like tearing everything apart uh, to put the cam in here. Cause when I had bought the cam, um, I had already had the engine in and all that stuff. So I'd have to take the springs out, and I just, I was like, look, I've already gotten so far with this project. I want to get it running, get it on the road, get some seat time in it. And then I'll start to do upgrades and stuff. I want to make it to a couple shows. Um, definitely want to make LS Fest, um, Midwest Mayhem in, in Chicago, the big ink show, and Impala show, and Orlando Classic in Florida. I know it's probably not going to be a football game, but cars are still going to be out. So this is my baby. Um, yeah, so I'll make a definitely gonna make a video on this. Um, I just got so many projects going on right now. I got Carlos Miller's 96 with the LS that I did. Um, I'm just working on my Silverado now. But once I get once I get the Silverado to a certain point, we'll get the Silverado done. Then I can hop back on these two cars because I just went to Summit. When I went to Summit to pick up the cam, I picked up the last few things I needed to get this running, um, which was fuel lines and a couple AN fittings for this, the fuel pump sender in the rear to adapt it to the 6AN line. Um, so that was basically like the last big thing because I needed to get rid of these, uh, is the old fuel line here. So all that's gonna come out and I got, I got the line here, it's gonna go back and we'll get it all, you know, I'll do a full video on this car. Um, and you'll see, you'll see a lot of this car. It's bagged, um, bagged, swapped, uh, my buddy in Gainesville tuck type tuck tight upholstery on Instagram tucked underscore tight underscore upholstery underscore um, my boy D he has my seats right now so he's redoing my seats um, I'm not really picky I didn't want anything too extravagant um, but I'm rambling we'll get that in another video um, with the full build and what it cost and everything and what everything I did to this car um, the wheels and tires the whole night we'll go through the whole the whole thing on this car and yeah, right now this is pretty empty. Seats are gone. I'm actually pulling this carpet out and replacing it, but yeah. Anyway, back to the Silverado. All right, so we're gonna run to AutoZone, get some parts, and come back and get this thing put together. Woo, so it's the next day. Um, after I put the heads on, I started putting everything together. Um, fought with the exhaust a little bit, 
and the manifold slipped out of my hand and broke the connector for the coolant temp sensor. Um, so I got all that together, got pretty much everything put back together, and then I lost the clips for the transmission lines, the little M looking clips, I lost those. So then it started raining. So needless to say, I was done for the day. So I got up early this morning. I already went to the junkyard. I was gonna film, but I didn't charge my battery for the GoPro. So uh, I've been back for a little while. I just got it charged up. Well, actually I just put the other battery in that I left. Um, so I went to AutoZone, got some more clips. Uh, went to the junkyard, got cut off a coolant temp sensor connector. So hopefully, hopefully that's it. Um, I think that's everything. I mean, I pretty much got it put back together. I'll show you. So pretty much everything's put back together, but this is what had uh, broke. I had already cut off the old one. It was just basically the two little metal pieces, but the actual plastic part broke. Um, so I had to um, go grab another one. Uh, and then I cracked a spark plug too. So I had to take a spark plug out of the Impala um, and put it in here, because I used the same um, NGK TR55s and everything in our I drive. And then the clips for the transmission lines are these guys right here. They go around here. I don't know where, where the hell I put them. So, uh, all we got left is um, gonna solder in the um, connector for the coolant temp. I'm going to put the clips in for the transmission cooler lines and I can put the fan back on, put the radiator in. Uh, I gotta change the oil and uh, Pretty much once I get that done, everything else is done. The intake is torqued down, the exhaust is all buttoned up, um, all the front accessories are on, all the hoses are on and clamped and done. Um, I think not this one. Nope, that one's on there. So yeah, all the hoses are connected. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna, actually got a brand new soldering iron too, so I finally get to use that. Um, I bought a Milwaukee one. I had a gat, uh, butane one, but it sucked. So you always got to turn, um, just having to fill it all the time, especially when I used to make harnesses, it was just a pain in the ass. So I bought a Milwaukee one, so I've never used it. So today will be the first time I get to use it, see how good it works. So we'll get the temp sensor soldered in. We'll get the clips put in those lines and we'll fire this thing up. All right, so. We are done. Oh, wait, nope, no we're not. See, forgot about that clamp. Oh, damn it. All right, now we're done. All right, so everything's hooked up, battery's hooked up. Uh, I got some coolant in there, changed the oil. Um, Got the belt on there. I put a new belt on the AC compressor because that one was all cracked to hell. Um, everything's bolted. Everything is uh, everything's pretty much ready to go. So we are going to fire this thing up for the first time with new heads, new cam, new springs, new lifters. Um, yeah, we'll see. Times with some of the fuel up to the front. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. She fired right up. Oh, I feel the cam. Let's see.
thing sounds good. Cooling off and uh, taking a lot. We had some more antifreeze. Yeah, I'm gonna top the cooling off, let it idle for a little bit, and um, I'm guessing it's probably gonna need a tune. It's a little shaky. Oh. oh, I was listening to. Uh, now you are being successful. Because you're walking in your purpose. Can I tell you the only thing you're missing in your game? Talk to me. The only thing you're missing in your game is going in the morning. Yo. Side note. Um, when I went to the junkyard and everything, I was. Um, no, no, no. I was listening to Carlos Miller, uh, well, 85 South Show podcast with um, Ken Burns, Kenny Burns on there. Inspirational. But yeah, man, we're going to see how this guy does. Feels pretty smooth. So I'm guessing I put everything back properly. I think that's just from pouring it. Cap on here and I'll take it for a spin. Nice cap on there. There we go. All right, so we gonna see. All right, first drive of the uh, Silverado with the new heads, the new cam. Let it warm up, it's uh, up to temp, everything looks good. We got a full tank of gas. Let's see how it, uh, how she performs. The real test would be when I tow. When I, um, when I hook the trailer up, I actually have to tow an Impala probably tomorrow morning. So I'm just gonna cruise around in it a little bit. see how it goes and then tomorrow will be the the real test oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah 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 I can feel it it's not super aggressive I still feel the torque um, but yeah it's got a little bit more a little bit more pep it does have a little hesitation off the line that I noticed um, I don't know what's up with that. Um, I will, uh, Max, Mad Max the Tuner is the guy who tuned my Yukon. Um, I'll probably, I know he doesn't work Sundays. Today's Sunday, so I'm probably going to hit him up tomorrow and, you know, let him know what I did and see if he could, uh, just, I'll send him a log, a tune file of the truck as it sits now and see if he can edit it for the cam and see if that'll help. But... So I'm gonna cruise around this thing a little bit, just feel it out, and uh, that's it. I mean, we did a head and a cam swap on my 03 Silverado. Um, next video I make on this truck will probably be exhaust. Come on, let's go. Yeah.